to master this reality is what we call the fire of God. But I won't go into fire yet. Let me use light, for example, to show you what God expects when He gave us eternal life. Mm. And it is the basis to which we will master this life that God will consider us as citizens of His realm. And so John said, what we met is the word of life. And so there is something light comes to do to you that makes you become different. But before you understand this, you need to even understand what is life, what is eternal life in the first place. You know, this mm. is a theological document that is taught in many foundation schools. Please, and please when watch. I started studying please listen. From the realm of God mm. to find out what God defines these things for Himself. I discovered there was an error in our doctrine. I discovered there was an error in our discipleship program. Mm. You know what they did? Because they couldn't attain God's standard, they lowered it. Sit down, please. They lowered it. Don't worry, sit down. Thank you. I don't want to be distracted. They lowered it and then created a doctrine to accumulate, accommodate the standard they have created. And mm. so you can be a Christian for a lifetime and not attain God's standard. Mm. When you begin to study eternal life, and I'm using this as a case study, just to reveal to you where we are. Because when I finish, I'm going to do a comparison between a believer and a witch. Mm. And then you will know that as touching spiritual knowledge, we are behind. Because this meeting you are having here, if this was a greeting of witches, nobody will come here with a car. Mm. And it's not a miracle. Malo. Everybody will teleport into this place and it will be normal. They will just appear here and when meeting is over, they will disappear and go home. And nobody will shout. It's normal. Mm. To show you how advanced in spiritual knowledge and intelligence they are in darkness. Me, I we, we are doing denomination. We are doing programs. We are doing church meetings. And we think we are growing because the number is increasing. Mm. All that we are doing, church is almost becoming a social gathering. The, the, Hello. the only thing remaining for us to do, have now is social security number. For us to become a purely social organization. Mm. But you see, when you enter the demonic realm, they have maintained their heritage. Malo. You can't say you are a witch if you can't come for the meeting. Huh. And you don't come for a meeting through a boat. You don't mm. come for a meeting through a car. You come for the meeting through a technology that is spiritual. Mm. So when a witch is using handset, he's using handset because he wants to communicate to your world. In their world, they have maintained their heritage. Mm. They don't communicate through phones. They communicate through telepathic means. If one witch wants to talk to another witch, he will transmit it. The other witch will know the information and he won't need a phone. And so when Hello. they are using technology, they are using technology because they are relating with the world. They don't need technology in their world. In a witch meeting, everybody gets the information at the same time telepathically. The question is, what have they known that has made them to preserve their heritage? Mm. An apprentice witch of 10 years can scatter the family of a Christian who has been a Christian for 30 years. My goodness. They send them on IT and a gear of 10 years can stand on the road and the family is traveling, traveling for Christmas and they can't somersault because she does her hand like this. Mm. And then we are bragging. I've been a Christian for 15 years. I've been a Christian for 30 years. And in the spirit, we are ignorant of mm. spiritual reality. If our generation to, don't press into God for ourselves to find out what God kept there as our heritage, our number will count for nothing. Mm. Mm, mm, in my mm, village mm. today, if you're having a wedding, Cracked windshield on your new car?